What's going on guys, it's your boy Trainer Sparks here and with the recent announcement of the long awaited remakes of the 4th generation, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we're visiting the Cine region on the Nintendo Switch, allowing us to revisit a region from most of our childhood. However, with varying information on these titles as of now, we don't know what to expect or what features will return in these games. But I decided, with Sinnoh being the region and giving past generation Pokemon new evolutions, such as Magneton into Magnezone, why not revisit a fan favourite gimmick in the franchise, that being Mega Evolution, as it makes sense, a region known for giving evolutions to past Pokemon. It's a perfect game for Mega Evolution to make its triumphant return in. Also, make sure to check out these amazing designers, links in the description below. Now with that being said, let's get into the top 10 Pokemon I think deserve Mega Evolutions in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Coming in at number 10 we have Drifblim. I know, before you guys immediately rush down to the comment section typing, eh, he put Drifblim on this list, eh, bad video, unsubscribe. Hear me out. No matter what new gimmick has been introduced in the franchise, there's always been that one Pokemon you would think would never gain one, but then immediately gets one. This list, having Drifblim fill that spot. Consider it the friendly Ghost Balloon, who gains a well-deserved power-up. This design made by Smiley Fakemon on DeviantArt, sticking with the Ghost and Flying type, giving it the Gale Wings ability which increases the priority of flying type moves by one. I know, pretty crazy, right? Mega Drifblim gets an increase in defense, special attack, special defense, and speed, making this Mega Evolution a complete tank to take on in these remakes. Number nine, Frostlass. With Galani getting a Mega Evolution in Omega Ruby and an Apple Sapphire, I think it's only fair to give Frostlass a Mega Evolution and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to complete the duo. This design made by Foreign Bacon on DeviantArt, Frostlass is sticking with the Icing Ghost type and gains the Snow Warning ability upon Mega Evolving, which summons a Hailstorm in battle. If we look at Mega Frostlass's stats, it gets an increase in defense, special attack, special defense, and speed, making Frostlass a rival to her counterpart once more. Number 8, Electivire. I know this may shock most of you. I would have also given Magmortar one as well, but maybe next time, buddy. Ever since the fourth generation came out, I've always loved the design of Electivire, but I've always saw more potential in this Pokemon. With this design by Tommy Case on Demon Art, it captures that Electivire goes from an already useful and powerful Pokemon, but amplifies it to the next level. Instead of keeping Electivire as a pure electric type, I'm going to be giving it a type it should have had from the start. I'm giving it the electric and fighting type. But this is where it gets even crazier. Instead of keeping its motor drive ability, I'm giving it the ability Electric Surge, which upon Mega Evolving turns the entire field into an electric terrain. The reason why I also decided to give Electivire the fighting type is because hopefully in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, it gets access to way more fighting type moves. That way, when it mega evolves, it can utilize the fighting type moves to its advantage and go, Hi, I punch you. I'm finding someone. Mega Electivire gets an increase in HP, defense, and special defense. However, sees a decrease in attack to improve its speed stat. So this Pokemon becomes a speedy and well-balanced foe on the battlefield, making Mega Electivire a truly electrifying foe in these remakes. Plus, giving it the fighting type is not a far stretch. Just look at Mega Ampharos. That thing's a dragon type. Number 7, Weavile. Weavile is a complete improvement from its previous evolution, Sneasel. Being an absolute amazing design and having a great type combination of Dark and Ice type. This Pokemon's design has only scratched the tip of the iceberg with a Mega Evolution, Weavile could become an absolute threat on the battlefield. This design made by Tommy Case on DeviantArt, sticking with the Ice and Dark type, shows that Mega Weavile still has that badass and smug personality Weavile is known for. I gave Mega Weavile the Moxie ability and an increase in HP, attack, special attack and speed, making Mega Weavile a powerful Dark and Ice type assassin 
giving Mega Weavile a name that sends chills down the spine of its opponents in these remakes. Number 6, Floatzel. Floatzel is one of those Pokemon that deserves a lot more love than it's been given. A way to give Floatzel some more love than it deserves is with a Mega Evolution, and this design by unknown down on DeviantArt showcases the amazing potential of a design that a Mega Floatzel could have, giving it the water and steel type, making its flotation device on its body look like a jet boat meaning Mega Floatzel is a lot tankier than regular Floatzel. I decided to give Floatzel the defined ability upon Mega Evolving, which when stats are lowered, its attack increases. Mega Floatzel gets an increase in HP, defense, and special defense. This came with a decrease in attack to give Mega Floatzel a buff to all of its defenses, making Mega Floatzel a real tank to deal with. Number 5, Staraptor. Staraptor, much like how Pidgeot gained its Mega Revolution in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, definitely is getting a spot on this list. Also, because Mikey wouldn't be too happy if I didn't include his mascot in a Sinnoh based list, he will find me. Staraptor has always been a Pokemon I've always wanted to see Mega Evolve someday. Ever since 12 year old me was exposed to Pokemon X and Y for the very first time, when I first met Revolt of Pokemon, my young brain always wanted to see my favourite bird friend soar to new heights with its own Mega Evolution. And with this design by Casey Dean Fakemon on DeviantArt, they captured the power of what a Mega Staraptor could look like. Mega Staraptor gains an increase in attack, defence, special defence and speed. I decided to drop Staraptor's normal type in giving it the flying and fighting type. That way it can utilise close combat to the best of its ability. Speaking of ability, I decided to give Mega Staraptor the Scrappy ability, allowing this Pokemon to attack those ghost types with its newfound fighting type powers, showing the ghouls who's the big hawk of the Sinnoh skies. Number 4, Toxicroak. Toxicroak already has an amazing design, but what would happen if we took the concept of an assassin toxic frog with longer poison needles and a slimmer body to move faster to take out its targets? If that sounds like an amazing concept for a Mega Toxicroak, then Spazzin on DeviantArt has surely outdone themselves with this design. This is exactly how I imagined a Mega Toxicroak would look like. I decided to keep the original poison and fighting type, but giving Mega Toxicroak the merciless ability. Which, when an opponent Pokemon is poisoned, this Pokemon can land critical hits. This plays into Mega Toxicroak being a trained assassin, using its poison to land critical blows to take down their opponents. Mega Toxicroak gets an increase in HP, attack, special attack and speed, seeing a decrease to its defenses, due to its slimmer design which made Toxicroak sacrifice its defense to make it a more speedy threat to any opponent. Number 3, Gliscor. Gliscor is one of those Pokemon whose design screams Mega Evolution potential. I remember when Ash had a Gligar in the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl anime and how it struggled with flying, then evolved to save Ash's life from falling to death, which was an episode to remember. It would be amazing to see a Mega Gliscor in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to give Gliscor a buff that it really deserves. This design by Anna Morty on DeviantArt, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, is the perfect concept for a potential Mega Gliscor. It screams power, but also it's like a glass cannon if not used correctly. Sticking with the ground and flying type, Mega Gliscor gets the Poison Heal ability. Yes I know, Gliscor's hidden ability is Poison Heal. Why fix it if it ain't broken, am I right? The reason why we're sticking with the Poison Heal ability is, in case it gets poisoned by an opponent, it can then use his Poison Heal ability to heal up from the poison and then take down its foes. If Gliscor did get a Mega Evolution, it would be amazing to see Ash get a Mega Ring, get a Gliscorite, bring back his Gliscor, and use it in Pokemon Journeys. Come on guys, please. Don't make Gliscor sad. Number 2, Luxray. Luxray is one of the most popular Pokemon in the entire franchise. 
Back in 2020, Pokemon teamed up with Google to host the Choose the Most Popular Pokemon of All Time. In Sinnoh, Luxray was third place. So for Luxray to snag that first place, why not finally give Luxray its own Mega Evolution in the remakes? Mega Luxray becomes an electric dark type with the ability Strong Jaw. Strong Jaw allows the Pokemon Strong Jaw to give it a tremendous biting power. And with a design like this made by Fatmon on DeviantArt, screams Electric Dark Luxray. Mega Luxray gains an increase in HP, attack, defense, and speed. To me, this design is the most amazing concept of a Mega Luxray I've seen in ages while browsing through DeviantArt, and truly deserves to be second placed on this list. Coming in at number one is not one, not two, but all three Sinnoh starters. In X and Y, the Kanto starters in Blaziken gained Mega Evolution. In Auras, Septile and Swampert joined the Mega Evolution starter squad. So why not give the Sinnoh stars their Mega Evolutions in their remakes? And these designs by Bogey Hero on DeviantArt are the best designs for the starters I've seen in a long time. My favourite one out of the three is Mega Empoleon. Sorry Jerry, I know you're going to hate me for this, but Mega Empoleon kind of looks the best out of all three. It makes Empoleon look like a royal knight or a king, complete with a sword and shield. Funny how Sword and Shield is the games before the remakes. Hmm. But let's go over them in order, starting with Mega Torterra. Mega Torterra sticks with the grass and ground typing, but gains this ability Shell Armor, which blocks the Pokemon from getting hit by critical hits, showing that Mega Torterra isn't a pushover and will fight back when it needs to. Mega Torterra gets an increase in attack, defense, special attack, and special defense with a slight decrease in speed due to Mega Torterra being more defensive, so it had to sacrifice some speed to become more of a tank to tank those hits. Next we have Mega Infernape. Mega Infernape, still working with its fire and fighting type, gains the ability Adaptability, which allows the Pokemon to power up moves of the same type, basically allowing Mega Infernape's fire and fighting moves to deal way more damage than normal which is very useful for Infernape. Imagine if it used a Flare Blitz with this ability, that damage will burn the entire competition to a crisp. No pun intended. Mega Infernape gets an increase in HP, attack, special attack, and speed. This way, Mega Infernape can move faster on the battlefield and land more powerful attacks, whether that be physical or special, Mega Infernape's got you covered. And finally on this top 10 list we have Mega Empoleon. Mega Empoleon keeps its previous water and steel typing but gains the bulletproof ability which protects this Pokemon from some ball and bomb attacks. Shows that that newly formed shield on its flipper can be used to protect it from most attacks thrown its way. Showing that Empoleon is more defensive when it Mega Evolves, Mega Empoleon gets an increase in HP, Defense, Special Attack, and Special Defense, with a minimal decrease in its speed due to Mega Empoleon focusing on defense and attacking itself against its foes rather than outspeeding them. This way it can focus and take them down. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was amazing to make. Shout out to all the artists for making these Pokemon designs. Go check them out, links in the description. But if there are any Pokemon that you want to see get a Mega Evolution, in Diamond and Pearl Remakes, if Mega Evolution comes back, let me know in the comment section down below which Pokemon you think deserves a Mega Evolution out of all the Pokemon. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, because we're on our way to 1k, and with your guys' help, I know we will hit that. But, I'm going to be setting a like goal on this video. If we hit 30 likes, I will make a part 2 with 10 more Mega Evolutions for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. With that being said, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Trainer Sparks, signing out.